Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. If you are new, I'd love it if you could subscribe. It would mean so much to me and it'd really help me out. So please do subscribe if you want to see more from me. So this setup is slightly different. I'm literally kneeling on the floor um, and you can definitely see me filming in my mirror. But basically I'm not staying like this because I am decluttering my room today. Because as you guys should know by now, I am moving out. So now it has come to the point where I need to start gutting my room basically. Which I'm not looking forward to at all because I have so much stuff and like so much unnecessary stuff. And it's just going to take me the longest time to like part ways with some things and keep other things. Like I just want to keep everything. So I need to make a start on my room now. I'm going to do it like section by section. So there might be a couple of these style videos. I'm not too sure. I might just all include it in one video. I haven't quite decided yet. I'm just going to see how I go basically. So the first thing I'm going to start on is these drawers behind me. They are full of so much crap. I can definitely throw so much of it away. So that's what I'm going to do first. I'm actually going to start with clothes and then move on to like stuff like random objects and stuff like once I've done all the clothes and that because I don't want to confuse myself too much you know I need to just sort of take each section as it comes my back hurts from kneeling this is so strange so if you do like videos like this make sure to give it a huge thumbs up remember to subscribe if you haven't already and let's just get started on decluttering I've never actually filmed a video like this before so I'm actually quite excited to actually film myself decluttering my room and I actually find that if I film it it gives me more motivation to do it I don't know why if anyone else has done this kind of video let me know if you felt the same yeah I don't know I just feel like if I film it I'll be more motivated to actually do it that makes sense okay so I'm gonna try and show you guys as much as I can of me sort of decluttering and I'll film like time lapses and stuff of it but basically I'm gonna start with these drawers first so in this drawer I have um, what do I have in here like all my underwears in this drawer I've got just random sort of like tops I guess in this drawer and um, nothing is in order basically that's my problem I have like loungewear stuff in there gym wear stuff in there like all sorts and then these bottom drawers are just full of like objects and stuff so i won't go through them just yet i'm going to do the clothes stuff first and then in these drawers i've got my bras and socks and then again this one's like a mix match drawer full of like tops gym wear pajamas all that kind of weird stuff and then again the bottom ones are like objects and all that kind of stuff so so like i said i'm gonna start with the clothes first and then see how we get on i think what i should do i can't even get this drawer open like it's that full i think what i'm gonna do is just like throw it all on the floor and sort it out that way i think that'll be the best thing to do because my bed's already so full of cardboard boxes and all that kind of stuff so I'm gonna go through this drawer first and just just chuck it all on the floor i think Okay, so this is my chuck pile, so I'm just going to chuck them to the side and then I'm just going to put everything into like a bin liner and take it to a charity shop or just put them in one of those like charity bins. Um, so yeah, that's everything I'm going to chuck from that drawer. So I'm going to fold up the things I'm going to keep and put them back in the drawer. And hopefully it should be less cluttered because I've actually got rid of quite a lot of stuff to be fair. And it was so easy to say no to this stuff. Like, it, I, I know for a fact I haven't worn it in years. Haven't seen it in years to be honest with you. So yeah, that's all going in the chuck pile. Okay, so that is that drawer done. That actually looks so much better now. So moving on to the next drawer. Okay, this is really annoying. So this is everything I'm going to keep from this drawer. I feel like I haven't thrown a lot though from this drawer, which is really annoying. But everything here, I genuinely do feel like I am going to wear. I was also going to start to separate my drawers. So I have like my shorts or like my gym wear stuff in one drawer. But obviously I'm moving, so there's no point doing that. I think I'll just do that. You know, once I've moved, I'll like organise everything properly in like actual specific drawers but for now i'm just going to put it all back as it is and hopefully i can actually fit it in because like i said i feel like i didn't get rid of much at all but oh well it's fine i'll just i'll try and make do so that is this drawer done i'm not gonna lie i think i'm gonna take a break now because i'm so hungry and i haven't had lunch yet so i'm gonna have a break have some lunch and then come back but i've already done two drawers out of the eight and these were the ones that were the most full so yeah i'm gonna go grab some lunch and then i shall carry on so lunch has been had i just put my dressing gown on because i'm kind of cold in here to be fair so i am back now 
to finish off what I was doing. So I'm going to do this drawer next. This drawer hasn't really got a lot in it actually. So I feel like it will actually be quite an easy drawer to do. Or like the stuff it has got in there. It's like quite like, I don't know. It's just really random. It's a really random drawer. So I feel like I'll fly through this one quite quickly to be fair. Because I reckon there's a lot of things in here that I can chuck. Just like by looking at the drawer. I already know what's going to go. Do you know what I mean? So we shall start on this drawer next. Oh my god, my Nintendo DS. Why do I still have this? This is so funny. My iPod case as well. I don't think my iPod's in here. It's not heavy enough. See, I literally used to use my iPod so, so much. Oh my god, there's my... No way, that's my iPod, guys. <gasps> Look at my iPod. Look how small that is. Just for reference, this is my phone. That's my iPod. Oh my god. How small and how thin as well. It's so thin. Okay, so this drawer is done. I'm not going to lie, there's literally barely anything in this drawer, which is so good. I literally got rid of so much stuff, so I'm very happy about that. So that is the third drawer done. So I've actually done a few more drawers off camera. So I've done, I think I've done two drawers on this side and three on this side. So I've got two more to go here. I think that's just the top one and the bottom one and then I've also just got the bottom one to do on this set of drawers um, but these two bottom drawers are like stuff they're not like clothes um, and then the top drawer here is like my underwear drawer so I'm gonna do that another day because I'm pretty sure like you know all the underwear I've got in there like I wear so I did that quite recently actually and then like I said I'm gonna do the two bottom ones like when I start moving on to like my stuff because as I said right now I'm just doing clothes so I think the next thing I'm gonna move on to is my like water wardrobe like my hanging up clothes which I'm dreading because I feel like I'm gonna wear all of them but I need to be brutal so this is all of my clothes I do actually have like a built-in wardrobe here but um as you can see it's tiny so I don't actually use it my dad uses it for other things so I don't bother using that and also my chair sits here anyway so it's in front of it so I don't bother using that so instead I have this rail so I'm gonna go through this oh, I'm not gonna lie to you I've, I've honestly got so many clothes and I've actually got another suitcase somewhere as well I think it's in the garden house full of clothes as well so I really really need to be brutal I know I do but it's just so hard. I feel like I'm going to wear all of it. So, uh, yeah, wish me luck. I really, really want to make a good go at this. Like, I want to get rid of a lot of stuff. I'm just not too sure if it's going to actually happen. I love this dress so much. I've only actually worn it once, but I just love it so much. It's like a croc print, and it's just the nicest dress ever, so I'm definitely going to keep this because I just feel like I will wear it again one day. I mean, I don't know when that will be because obviously we can't do anything right now, but definitely want to keep this. decide on this so this grey kimono I've had actually for so many years now I used to wear this in sixth form but I love it and I just feel like I'm trying to think have I worn it recently and I definitely haven't but I love it and I just feel like I will wear it but then maybe I won't so maybe it should go this jumpsuit I absolutely love and it's such a me jumpsuit like I've worn this so many times in the past but I just feel like it has done its time now and I should just move on to better things I didn't wear it at all last summer I don't think and it's just not really me anymore but I absolutely love it it's so nice but yeah it's old me and this misguided playboy um like t-shirt dress I absolutely love like it's got this on the back it looks so nice but again I just don't think I'm gonna wear it again now like I loved it when I had it but I just don't really feel like it's me anymore do you know what I mean? I just don't see myself wearing it because I don't really wear t-shirt dresses anymore. So I think I'm going to get rid of this because I know I'm not going to wear it. I'm actually pretty happy with that to be honest. I definitely kept way more stuff towards the front half of the wardrobe because it's obviously stuff that I wear like often. Every time something goes in the wash and comes back into the wardrobe it like goes on that end. Um, so a lot of stuff from this side went which I'm quite happy about. So it still may look like a lot of stuff but there's actually so many coat hangers like various different coat hangers like obviously they haven't got clothes on anymore. So I feel like I've actually done quite well and to be honest I've got so many jumpers because of lots 
lockdown and that's all I seem to wear at the moment. But yeah, I'm actually pretty happy with that. I think it's going to be okay. And this side I've got a few like dresses and stuff that I know I will wear eventually. Like once we're allowed to like, you know, do that kind of stuff, I'll definitely be wearing them. So I know that they'll get wear out of. So I just went ahead and sorted out the bottom drawers of my Alex drawers. So all of this sort of stuff is like makeup and skincare and all that kind of stuff. And then down here I've got my like everyday sort of trousers, leggings, um, same in this drawer, jeans. And then this one is sort of like my crop tops and like my tops that I would wear on the more regular. So that is all of my clothes I have in my room. So I've actually got such a huge pile. Like it's actually really big, not my slippers. They are obviously staying but yeah that is all of my clothes and i'm so happy about it that's actually so much stuff that's really really good so i'm very happy so i'm going to pop that all into a bin liner and then decide what i'm going to do with it either yeah give it to a charity shop or just chuck it into a like charity bin so i have bagged up all of my clothes now and they are ready to go to a charity bin and then there is one bag that's just going to go in the bin because there's like really old stuff in it and some stuff is like broken or like stained so i just thought i'd just chuck that in the bin but i've got two full bin liners full of clothes for a charity shop or like i said a charity bin or something so i feel very good i feel like that was the main thing i actually had to do because i had so many clothes and i've literally got two full bin liners full so i'm very happy about that also just found out some very good news boris johnson has just done his announcement on tv about the staged reopening of life if you like and you're actually allowed to have gatherings in your garden of up to six people on the 29th of march which is my birthday so that is so good i'm very happy about that it means i actually get to see my friends on my birthday because on my birthday last year we were in lockdown we were like a week into lockdown so i couldn't do anything so i still can't do anything this year but at least i get to see my friends in my garden this year providing the weather is on side Hopefully it's not raining. I don't care if it's cold, we can wrap up. But if it's raining, that'll be annoying. But yeah, I feel very happy about that because it means I actually get to see my friends this year. So I think I'm going to stop sorting things out now for today because the time's like quarter past four and I'm actually quite tired now. And I just kind of wanted to like sit down and start relaxing because I haven't relaxed at all today. I've literally been doing this all day. So I think tomorrow or the next day or something, I'll start going through my Alex drawers of like all my stuff, like all that kind of stuff. Because like I said, I wanted to get the main bulk of like clothes done and then I can move on to like my stuff you know so i don't know if that will be in this video or if it'll be in another video i'm not too sure i'm gonna start editing this video now and see how long it is i might include the rest of it in this video or i'm gonna do a part two I'm not too sure yet but you will obviously see when you're watching this video what i side i don't really know but yeah, that is me done for today. So it is now the next day. So I'm going to go through all of these drawers now. I think I might start from the bottom and work my way up. Just because there's random stuff in the bottom and then you miss like four drawers because they're full of clothes. I feel like it'll be easier. I don't know. I just feel like it'll be easier because these are the drawers like I use the most. So I feel like I'll be able to get rid of the most out of like the ones that are further down. So yeah, going to start on the Alex drawers now. So I'll put you on a time lapse and yeah, let's just get started. if you guys know i actually have a diary like a calendar sort of diary and i've been using diaries for years and years like probably like i'm not even too sure like well this one is 2017 2018 this one is 2019 to 2020 and i've literally got so many so i can literally tell you what i was doing on a really random date so let me let me think of date let's go with the 15th of october 15th what was i doing 15th of october 15th of October 2017 I was in Warwick watching Ben's mum in a race so love that for me literally I've got all of my uni timetable written down in here so I had a 9am on Monday I had an interview at Wagamama's on the 9th of October 2017 how funny I didn't get the job though lol Wednesday I had dance I had hip hop at two o'clock I had jazz at three o'clock then I have my trial shift at Wagamama's on the Thursday. Literally, I love this so much. So I'm definitely gonna keep these because I just love looking back on my life. Do you know what I mean? Like, I just love it. Now, this drawer and this drawer are probably the ones that I definitely use the most. Yeah, there's a lot of crap in this drawer that I feel like I could probably throw, but we'll just have to see. I mean, the, yeah, there looks like a lot of random stuff in here. So I'm just going to chuck it all on the floor and then put it back nice and neatly. And hopefully I've got rid of a few things because, like I said, there's quite a lot of stuff in here. Okay. 
is so dirty in here as well, like horrible. Look as well at how many bottles of Maribadescu I have. They're drying lotion. I clearly love it so much. I have one that's on the go at the moment. So I've currently got five bottles, which is crazy. So these all need to go in the bin because they're very, very like dried out. Like they literally shake, like they shouldn't shake. <laughs> Do you know what this is horrible i know but i think i'm just gonna leave it i don't think i'm gonna bother cleaning it out because once i move i'm probably gonna have to put these together again anyway because i'm probably gonna have to dismantle them um so i think i'll give them a proper clean out thanks and i can actually take like the drawers out and like give them a proper clean so for now i'm gonna leave it looking rank i know it's rank please just like you know look past it um yeah i'm gonna sort that out when i've actually moved i think that's just the best option to be honest My drawers are also broken, which is so annoying. Like, that, what is that? That's just great. So like I said, when I take these apart, I'm going to build them again because this is, that's not okay. That really annoys me, especially because this is the drawer of all my makeup in it. So, you know, I need this drawer to look okay. So this is all of my makeup. And like I said with the other drawers, there's definitely stuff that I can throw out of here. So that is what I'm going to crack on and do now. And this is the last drawer out of the Alex drawers to do. So very happy about that. And also I can then sort out all the stuff like, like on top of the Alex drawers because now I actually have room in the other drawers to put that stuff in so that's great so i'm gonna take all this stuff out i feel like well the most most of it i'm gonna keep but i just need to like reorganize it and i have a lot of like the same product that i just don't throw away so like for instance i've literally got like six or five or six of like the collection concealers um which are like all run out pretty much so i need to go through them and work out what ones are actually like still have product in and stuff and what ones need to go in the bin okay so i didn't actually bother filming this part because i just kind of did it all really quickly um there's makeup literally everywhere this is all like you know powder i mean if your makeup doesn't look like this then is it really your makeup do you know what i mean like makeup just gets all messy and stuff so oh well it's fine but i've actually sorted this drawer out a lot of it's gone in the bin so i've actually been quite brutal and pretty much all of this is like what i would wear like obviously not on a daily basis but like you know when i'm going out and all that kind of stuff so i don't feel like i've left anything in here that i'm not going to use to be fair i do have this revolution eyeshadow palette that i probably won't use but i can't get rid of it i just don't want to i might end up using it who knows but then to be fair when i get my eyelash extensions back i won't be putting on any eyeshadow anyway because i don't really tend to use eyeshadow when i've got eyelash extensions so but these are all urban decay ones and mac ones so i'm not about to get rid of those because since i've been wearing false lashes i have been using eyeshadow so they're staying oh wait i didn't go through the concealers hold on so that is all of god this drawer so that is all of these drawers done so my next task will be to sort out like under my rail and under my chair and under my bed and all that sort of stuff but yeah all of this is pretty much done so i think i will probably leave the video here and do maybe like a part two because i still have a lot of stuff to do so that is it for my decluttering video i still have quite a lot to do in my room i can't lie to you but i just didn't want this video to be too long and too boring so i think i might do a part two so if you would like to see a part two then do let me know in the comments down below because i definitely can do another one because like i said i still have so much stuff to sort out like i said so but yeah i'm very happy that i made a start on things and like i said i actually feel like filming it made me more motivated to do it because i don't really know why i just felt like there was more pressure to do it because i was filming you know i don't know if that helps me declutter my room then so be it but if you have liked this video then make sure to give it a huge thumbs up remember to subscribe if you haven't already i upload every single wednesday friday and sunday so make sure to subscribe if you want to see more from me and i shall see you soon for another video bye